So Pierre Luc Dubois is a number one center, right? That's what everybody's like. Yo, we got a number one center, Pierre Luc Dubois for line A. Ooh, we got a number one center. Ooh, a number one center on Columbus. Okay, like let's let's fucking wake up a little bit here. <clears throat> like this is dumb. This is a fucking stupid trade. This is fucking stupid. Like. We picked up a baby. We had a young kid. Oh yeah, he didn't want to be in Winnipeg. Whatever. But guess what? He still wanted to be a hockey player. And he still wanted to give his team the best shot every night at winning. No matter what. Pierre-Luc Dubois doesn't. And didn't. Okay? Everybody's sitting here giving torts. For some reason, torts is in all of this. For some reason, he's... The one to blame. Did you watch Pierre-Luc Dubois' games? Did you watch his shifts? Uh, better yet, did you watch the after interviews? After I, bet, I guarantee 90% of the fan base doesn't watch Columbus games. Now 90% of those people that watch those games don't watch the after interviews, okay? I can guarantee you. So naturally, Torts gets asked, what about Pierre-Luc Dubois? What's going on? His response? Ask him. I don't know. You ask him. I'm the coach. I got 25 other guys to worry about. He's one dude. You ask him. Right? And so finally, after five games of being asked this, he finally snaps. And of course, Sportsnet, TSN, they run with they run with the one. Where he finally gets mad, right? Ooh, Torts is mad. Ooh, Torts is mad. Ooh, it's so good content. Ooh. Like, fuck off, bro. Like, 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 <laughs> there's actually a portion of fans out there that aren't complete fucking idiots, right? Like, we get, we, we pay attention to more than just the big snippets, right? This is a horrible trade, right? The Jets fucked up, right? Columbus wins, whatever. They got rid of a piece of shit and they get a star that's willing to actually adapt and change. Right? Pierre-Luc Dubois isn't. Liney had a minus 24 season, got told to play more fucking defense and sacrifice some goals, did, got shit on across the league for it, adapted, became the player he was supposed to be and asked to be, and he got nothing but shit on for it. Pierre-Luc Dubois, all he had to do was play the fucking game and he couldn't. That's all anybody asked for th with of him. You know, why would you bench him if he's on the line? You could have given somebody else a shot, Torts. Do you think he knew he wasn't going to fucking try? Do you think Torts intentionally put somebody on his bench that he thought wasn't going to try? Like, do you think Torts gives a flying fuck that Line A plays Fortnite? The guy's been in the league for 20 fucking years, man. He can adapt. He's been in the league this long. He went from clutch and grab to fucking pussy ass little kids that don't want to play because they don't want to play. He can evolve, and everybody. The Fortnite's gonna be an issue. You know, like, what do you like? You half ass fucking fans, man. Like you part time fucking pussies. Like this is a horrible trade because the Jets could fucking like, and then Jack Roslovic. Like, because the Jets are so stubborn with Blake Wheeler in their top line that they won't move them around just a fucking little bit. We lost fucking, what, 70 goals? 80 goals? Maybe? Who knows what Jack, Jack Ross... He could be a bust. Who, he could be a 40 fucking goal scorer. Like, we could have we could have potentially just given Columbus what they need to now be Stanley Cup champions. Like, I don't get it. Like, I don't fucking understand this trade. Like... <laughs> oh. 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 Like, like, <laughs> oh. ah, I can't, like, I can't, like, <laughs> I fucking can't. Oh, this isn't going to be good. I hope I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll probably be wrong. You know what I mean? I, 
made a video saying lining was going to stay and everybody needs to fuck off and look what happens, right? But would this have happened if there wasn't a child in Pierre-Luc Dubois being like this? No, I don't think it, like, this is the perfect storm for Liney to be traded. It really is. We're, like, this is the perfect storm for, like, it's the perfect type of player in Pierre-Luc Dubois that the Jets love, which I, well, yeah, I get it. When he's, when he's in game five of the Stanley Cup final and it's five minutes left in the third, he's great. He is. But guess what? When it's the start of the season and you need those points to get into the playoffs, he's a fucking baby. When he needs to not be a fucking baby. It's really that simple. So, congrats. We just got rid of the future for a fucking child. Like, fuck Pierre-Luc Dubois. Like, I, ho I hope somebody gets a jersey of him and puts baby on the back and wears it to, this, to his games. Like, I really do. Like he's on he's on par as a as a sports fan in Canada he's on par with George Springer of fuck thatness. Like he, like they're like a baby that doesn't want to play his game and a cheater in my eyes they're on the same level fucking losers, fucking losers man. Anyways, that's it. Done. Have a good day.